You are now watching Always Fresh Apparel. What's up YouTube? It's Always Fresh Apparel and today I'm coming at you guys with my highly anticipated Summer Essentials Episode 3. The, uh, the shoes that I'm going to be rocking this summer that I've picked up over the past two months. Um, it is, they're all boxes are right here. I got 18 pairs of shoes for you guys. This is going to be craziness. This is stuff I picked up. It's been like a couple months. So it's not like I just got these in like a week or something. It's been months and I just haven't shown them off. So I'm going to do that in today's video. You can tell I'm outside because today it's like 85 degrees and I said, why hole up in my room? Let's get outside with the camera, with all my pairs of shoes, and let's give you guys different scenery. So, like I said, there's 18 pairs of shoes. I'm gonna try to take like 30 seconds per shoe so I don't make this extremely long for you guys. I'm gonna run through real briefly the shoe and then for the shoes that I'm really feeling and that I think are, are something I'm gonna wear a lot, I'm gonna do one of those in-depth reviews where I make the two fits, like the day and night fit of the day. I'm gonna do that for those kinds of shoes. So you're gonna see more of these shoes. Don't just think this is it. So let me get into these right now. I'm gonna start with the Nike brand shoes first. Real quick before I get into the video, I don't want you guys to get mad, but I'm not gonna throw these shoes on because there are 18 pairs and it takes about a minute to talk about each and I don't want to bore you with the length of this video. So like I said, the shoes that I'm really feeling are, I'm going to do a separate fit of the day video where I throw them on so you guys can see what they look like. So don't fret, don't worry, I will put them on for you guys. Enjoy. All right, you guys, starting off, we have the Nike SB and Supreme Tennis Classic collab. So as you can see, I got these in the black colorway. These are, uh, these released a couple Thursdays ago. I decided that this would be a really good shoe to replace just my normal black Vans that I wear during the summer. So instead of wearing a Vans that like everyone else is gonna be wearing, try to be a little different and maybe just replace black Vans with these. So it's an all black leather upper with Supreme on the back right there, white midsole, white outsole. As you can see, I have worn these. Uh, very comfortable shoe, like I said, matches with anything. These retailed for 110 on the Supreme website. You guys, next up we have the Nike Air Max Essentials in the uh, dark atomic teal colorway. These babies are right here, really dope sneaker. Air Maxes are one of the most comfortable sneakers I own. As you can see, it's got this really bright lime green upper with this uh, dark atomic teal suede. Uh, kind of like a khaki-ish mesh. Uh, really dope sneaker, I wear these. Uh, really with like kind of crazy socks and then kind of keep it simple with maybe like a black and white fit really dope summer sneaker this colorway just screams summer these at the Nike outlet again in my area for about 50 bucks so what a steal that's that's a steal right next up you guys I got another Nike outlet steal for my Portland uh, Nike outlet I, these are the Nike Hirachi free 2012s in the white and team red colorway really simple uh, sneaker all white all red a lot of people use these for training, but I think they're going to be a really comfortable sneaker just to wear around if you want to just have a kick, kick it day. Not really worry too much about the what happens to your sneaker. I know people like if they spend like 160 on grapes and stuff or whatever, they don't want they don't want to get it dirty. So this is a good sneaker just to kick around, not worry too much about what happens to it. I got these again at my Nike outlet for 14.97, 14.97. So, I mean, you can't beat that. I had to pick myself up a pair right there. You guys, next up, these are some more actually Nike Hirachis, but these I bought before those last ones that you guys saw. These are the NYC pack. So as you can tell, this is more of a, a chukka or like a mid, whereas this is a low. So these ones feature an all black upper with this white and uh, blue and orange speckled midsole with orange and blue hits on the heel, coming around with this mesh interior, like a, a blue mesh interior. These, uh, this is the New York Knit colorway. They also had a Giants and um, I can't remember what the other one, a Yankees colorway. So this is the only one they had left at my store. Size nine, these were around 50 bucks. Really comfortable sneaker for summer again. These will match with any type, kind of sock I wear. Uh, just another kick it shoe, really easy to match with. All right, you guys, next up again with another Nike pickup. These I got from Zappos.com. These are the Nike Solar Soft Moccasins, the black version. These are dare I say, almost more comfortable than the Roshis, I think, in my opinion. These are really flexible, really lightweight, just so easy to slip on and just run out of the house with. Uh, dope colorway, again, black and white, you can match with anything. I love it. These were, I think, 70 bucks on Zappos. I really wanted to grab myself a pair. Uh, it's just like a whole slip-on thing. There's The tongue is just attached to the shoe, really bendable. 
easy to wear. Next up, as you guys already know, we have the Air Jordan 5 Retro Grapes. So I'm gonna pull these out. You guys saw my last video. You know I got these. I did a, uh, a fit video for these. I just wanted to show them for people that might have missed it or people that are new. Oh gosh, I did get the uh, the grapes. Big shout out to Ruben and Steven for this. They uh, camped and they uh, got me a pair and they sent them to me retail, uh, just plus shipping. So I can't thank them enough. Uh, really appreciate it, you guys. Such a sick shoe. All right, you guys, next up, another Nike outlet steal. I love going to my Nike outlet and finding all these steals. Uh, I got these for 75 bucks. These are the Nike Flynet trainers. Uh, these are a huge, uh, these are like up on the rise. You know how like Roshis are really big right now? Well, the Flynet trainers are definitely coming up on the rise too. Really comfortable sneaker. I got the Volt colorway because this is the only one they had for 70 bucks. The other ones are like 150. So, I mean, 70 bucks, like half price. These are an eight and a half though, so they're a little small, but I can squeeze my foot into them. Just an all volt upper with the white midsole. Uh, really simple shoe. These are kind of like trainers uh, as well but I thought I had to pick myself up a pair, 70 bucks, you can't beat it. You guys, my favorite pair of sneakers that I picked up that are from Nike, um, that I picked up in this haul or whatever you wanna call it. If you don't already know, I'm sorry, but damn. The Nike Stefan Janowski Digi Florals. These are insane. You guys already know about them. I'm really not gonna go too crazy in depth, but I am going to do a fit video with these, so look forward to that. Again, just the normal Janowski base with this uh, camo, and it's a digitalized floral print right there, as you guys can tell. These are extremely hard to get. Um, they were, I think, pretty limited. I'm not really sure. I think I know a lot of people that got them, but I know a lot of people that are still searching for them. So I picked these up at my local skate shop. They just Instagram a picture and said, hey, we got these in, first come, first serve. So I sprinted and I hauled ass and I went down to my mall and I picked these up. Uh, I was one of the first people in there, so I'm really glad I did. These are such an awesome sneaker. I'm probably gonna take longer talking about these because they're so sick, but there they are. All right, you guys, now I'm gonna get into the two pairs of gourmet shoes that I picked up. Well, the first pair of gourmets that I got are the Cheetah Print Uno LXs. And as you can see right here, the Cheetah Print, oh wow, that's in the way. Uh, the Uno LXs right here all over cheetah print leopard print whatever you want to say with the white midsole and these two uh holes right here i don't really know what they're for but they kind of add a nice little visual to it gourmet tag right there these are a simple shoe but honestly they can be worn with shorts or pants so i'm really happy i picked these up this is my first no this is my second all over cheetah print shoe um definitely a standout for sure you guys in the final gourmet shoe that i picked up this is one that i've been waiting on for months i saw the picture four or five months ago and I knew, I said to myself, when that drops, I don't care how much it is, I'm gonna buy it. So here we have the Gourmet and Black Scale 35 collab. Bam, these are sick. These are just basically the Gourmet's 35 edition model of their sneaker. Um, but what the Black Scale twist is, is that it's all black and it's got this sliced leather all across the shoe. So it's leather and then they kind of took like a little thing, I don't know what they took but they sliced it up to make it look like scales. So it's kind of like a reptilian look. Hopefully the sun right there can give you guys a little bit of a glimpse, but these are so sexy. Uh, for these, you have to size up half a size. That's usually what gourmet shoes run, but I'm so happy I got my uh, hand on a pair of these. These were 150, I believe. Um, I don't even care. They're gonna match with anything I wear during the summer. So perfect shoe. All right, you guys, the next pair of shoes that I have were actually a pair that was sent to me by a viewer. Big shout out to you, Austin. I can't thank you enough. He sent me the Saucony and Play Clothes collab. This was last year's collab. These are the metallic silver edition of the, the collab. They also had a gold one that they dropped, but he sent me the silver. He said, hey, yo, I never wear them anymore. Do you want them? And I said, dude, like that's, that's amazing that you would even consider that. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough, so big thank you to you, Austin. Again, it features this metallic silver upper with the white and black midsole, black outsole. A lot of people said they wouldn't walk, rock these. Wow, walk. A lot of people said they wouldn't rock these, but I personally would. I think they are such a dope sneaker. They stand out so much. That glare that the metallic gives off really adds a nice texture to it. Um, definitely a crazy sneaker that I'm looking forward to wearing this summer. Next up, you guys, we have my first pair of New Balances. I don't know why this is my first pair. There really should have been more before this, but I just decided to finally cave in and get myself a pair. These are the New Balance 574 Year of the Snakes in red. So as you can see, 
crazy sneaker, just the normal 574 model that New Balance puts out. But what's different is that the, the leather all across the toe box and the heel is like reptilian, so they kind of gave it like the snake feel to it. Uh, on the inside, it's got all these crazy colors, you can't really tell. But uh, really simple shoe on the back, it's got this gold stitching representing the stake and these like candy rope laces, like peppermint laces it kind of looks like. They're almost like peppermint candies. Really nice touch. And uh, this end right here is all 3M, so it like uh, shines in the light. Or if you get like a flashlight against it, it'll definitely be bright. And a really simple shoe, uh, but it matched with a, a lot of the, the black and white stuff I wear, or red. Uh, I got these on Zappos again for 75 bucks. Zappos has got all the steals, so you guys might want to check it out for sure. Next up, you guys, uh, a shoe from Reebok that I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, this player, the model that this, the model of the shoe that this player is after was one of my favorite growing up. The dude was amazing. So before you guys, I have the Reebok Shack Attacks. Bam, these are insane. One of my favorite pairs of shoes to rock. Um, just in general, uh, if you saw my Instagram, I wear these a lot. Um, I even wear them and don't take an Instagram picture in them, but it is this all white leather with the black suede and these teal hits on the back. Um, this is the first time they've retroed the Shack Attacks, so I knew that as being a huge fan of Shack, I had to get myself a pair, and it features the pump on the tongue. Uh, if you guys want like a full in-depth review, I know other YouTubers have done this, so just click on, just type in Reebok Shack Attacks, and you'll definitely be able to see their full review. But for now, I'm just gonna be rocking these during the summer. I definitely half a size down for these. These ran pretty big. So I got them on Karma Loop actually. Karma Loop carries these. But I half a size down because I knew that they were gonna run a little big. So these fit perfect. Eight and a half fits perfect for me. Bam, Shack Attacks. You guys, next up, we have three pairs of shoes from Creative Recreation. These dudes actually hit me up through Travis. If you guys know Brass, Travis uh, and uh, Patrick from Creative Recreation are friends. They uh, started talking about me and Creative Recreation actually wanted to send me three pairs of sneakers to feature in a video. So here I am with you guys today featuring three of their uh, sneakers. So let me show you guys what they sent. First up we have the Creative Recreation Lavacas in turquoise and gray. Uh, this is kind of almost like those Janowskis that I got, but these are crazy. I love this colorway. I think it's so dope. So you got that turquoise on top with the laces kind of tucked underneath the flaps on the side with the Creative Recreation logo right there, and then this kind of darker gray outsole and midsole. So really dope, vibrant sneaker for summer. Definitely gonna be easy to rock with and have a lot of color in your outfit. All right, you guys, next up, they sent me another Lavaca, but this is in like a maroon and bone is what they kind of call it. Uh, maroon, bone, and Orion is what they call it. So again, right there, maroon, kind of, this one's uh, a mesh, actually. And then on the back, it's got this white creamish hit with the white. A, uh, outsole and midsole really uh, crazier not crazier but really vibrant colors is what they're putting on their sneakers is what I meant to say um, these are dope I love them the maroon kind of gives it a nice fallish look this is actually be something I'd probably rock in fall with some uh, some jeans some cuff denim definitely a really good sneaker to rock I'm happy I mean I can't thank creative recreation enough Thank you guys. And the final pair of sneakers that Creative Recreation sent me are the Lavaca Mids in khaki and yellow. These are sick. I really like mids, as you guys know. Mids are easy to match with, with pants, basically. Probably wouldn't wear these with shorts. I'm not really sure yet, but when it hits fall and winter, I'm definitely gonna be rocking these. Features a khaki uh, upper with this leather hit on the heel. White, in, white outsole and midsole, simple. Uh, but again, very clean, elegant design on these shoes. Thank you, Creative Recreation. All right, you guys, we have two pairs of shoes left, and I saved them for last for a reason, because they are the two pairs of shoes that I'm honestly feeling the most in this video. I mean, I got crazy pickups. Those, the, the Black Scale Gourmets were some of my favorite. Those Janowskis are some of my favorite. The Reebok Shack Attacks. Um, I got so many crazy sneakers, but these two, honestly, for me, are two of the greatest pairs that I have in my collection, and I'm really happy to have them, so let me get to them right now. First up, and probably one of the more controversial shoes that I own, these were 50-50 for a lot of people, but I saw them and I thought they were beautiful. Um, these are definitely not for everybody. These work really well with cuffed denim, or cuffed chinos, or jogger pants. So today I present to you guys the Hype Beast and Puma Dim Sum Project Pack Collaboration. These are crazy, bananas. I love them, they're 
insane. Um, I would get into the backstory, but I'm not really gonna go too much in depth about that. But it features an all yellow upper. This leather right here, you guys, is way better than any Jordan brand leather or any Nike leather I've ever felt in my life. It features yellow leather, yellow suede, and this, these yellow plastic hits on the side with a white midsole and outsole with this orange uh, design going on the bottom. These are perfect. As you can tell with cuff denim that would just rise right here. These are amazing. Um, I'm gonna wear these a lot during the summer. Yellow is again, a summer shoe. It's a summer color. You gotta get out there. You gotta be vibrant and bold in summer. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with these. I got these for one, 20 I think and I don't remember what site it was like a random site that I just searched on Google the final pair of sneakers These and the hypebeast pumas and probably the Janowskis and the black scales are all shoes I'm going to do separate fit of the day videos on so if you don't see them on feet now Don't worry. I'm going to do on feet of them. Okay um, So don't worry about that, but these are I got to give a huge shout out to T Blake he looked out for me. He knew how bad I wanted these. Um, I tried to cop them on release day. I was unable to get through. I was not able to get them, but he knew how much I wanted them and cop them for me in my size. So Tyler Blake, big shout out to you. He actually is a sneaker YouTuber. So I'm gonna put his link in the description, check him out. So today and the final shoe of this video, I present to you guys the Ronnie Feig and ASIC Miami Dolphin colorway ECP project collaboration these are insane so if you know Ronnie Feig is a designer he works with ASIC a lot ASICs a lot and collabs with them on shoes this is part of the East Coast project uh, a collaboration he did with them they did the Miami Dolphin colorway and they did the New York Knicks colorway Tyler was able to scoop up a pair of the Miami Dolphin colorway in a size nine and a half for me I told him hi I mean I can't thank him enough but these shoes are these shoes sold out in five seconds I think online so these are extremely limited, extremely rare. Um, everyone was trying to get their hands a, was trying to get their hands on a pair of these. And a big shout out to T Blake again. Features a all Miami Dolphin colorway, I guess. Uh, this kind of like greenish teal on the upper, orange hits with the 3M right there on the Asics logo. White midsole, orange outsole, Asics on the back. Awesome sneaker came with three different types of laces couldn't be happier. I got myself a pair. Thank you guys so much for watching I mean, I truly appreciate all the views all the the comments like this video if you guys were feeling the uh, The shoes that I put out in this video um, Let me know what you guys thought which one was your favorite pair Hopefully you guys are feeling the fact that I'm getting sneakers a lot more now because it's definitely just who I'm turning into It's who I'm gonna be for a while. So if you don't like that, I'm getting the sneakers. I'm sorry, but it's just who I am now, and I love it. My wallet hates it, but <laughs> whatever. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me in the Summer Essentials series. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to stay fresh, my friend.